Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about white amaranth. So these are called white amaranth, but really they're green. And I think the reason they're called white is because when you flip the leaves over in the summertime, uh, they have this kind of like a, a white gloss to them. But um, the leaves are more of a lighter green color. It's very beautiful, it's, it's delicious. And uh, these are some of the plants that would love the summer heat. So they grow really, really well in the summer. So if you live in places where, uh, you know, you have crazy heat in the summer and you want a vegetable that would grow well, this is one of them. I live in Texas, our, our summer is, is, is ridiculous. And so uh, these are some of the plants that I grow because I love the way they taste. I, I use them in soups and um, they are really healthy and there's so many benefits to them. And they're also very easy to grow and they don't have a lot of pests. And so that is one of my go-to plants to grow in the summer. So today I'm going to show you how to collect seeds and save them for next year. So these plants produce a ton of seeds. And if you don't control them, uh, depending on where you are, they may grow crazy and go and you know just grow everywhere okay here is a mature plant that is towards the end of its life cycle and so uh, they produce seeds like this all up and down the stalk and that is the reason why the, you you may have to control this if you live in a hot area because they produce so much seeds up and down the stems that uh, if they fall they'll just grow and so uh, I'll show you uh, a few that have fallen and then they, they, they grew. So here I have a small bucket and uh, these are seeds that fell from here and they started to grow and it's been there for a while and so that's the reason why this one is also starting to flower. But here are the new ones, you see? These are the new ones that fell off and they grew and there's a, a baby one right here that would grow. Uh, they start out so small and it's crazy to believe that um, they become something this massive. I mean they do get bigger and I have already started collecting the seeds here. And so uh, let me show you what the seeds look like. Okay so uh, uh, you can tell uh, easily what the, the seeds and the flowers are. They, they start to develop like this up and down the, the stems of the plant. And then inside the flowers are these little black seeds. And uh, sometimes you might have to just take a bunch and then go like this, you see? And though the black seeds right there, those are the seeds of the amaranth. And these are very, very tough seeds. They have a very hard casing or shell. And uh, they will can, you know, they can just stay in the soil and be dormant uh, in winter time and then when the weather is warm again they will start to grow so these will be in the soil all year long with no problem at all and they will sprout again when the weather is warm and so uh, you see how many seeds there are they're very easy to fall off and that's the reason why they could uh, be in invasive because the wind can knock at it and it will fall off and then it will just spread or it get blown by the wind and it will just, it will just grow. And so um, grow them in a controlled area and then you can harvest them early. Uh, as what I showed you guys earlier, that, that same size plant, grow a bunch of them, harvest them at that age and the leaves are just so delicious and tender. And here they are. And so you can, uh, you know, you, you don't have to cut the whole plant, but the stems, when they, they're young and tender, you can eat the whole plant. But uh, as they get older like this, the stem could become a little tough. And so you can just pick the leaves and cook them. Uh, There's so many ways to cook these. Uh, one way is I, I make them uh, in soups. Another way is you can just saute them or you can just boil them uh, and then just you know eat it with your favorite dipping sauce and that's it that's as simple as they get they're very very healthy for you and so if you have not grown this before uh, look into them uh, there's also a red variety they're very similar except the red one has red veins and they're just as beautiful they grow the same way they s sort of taste the same and uh, very healthy, grow well in the summer. And uh, once you grow these, uh, if you let them go to seed, then they may just come back year after year. And so uh, that's it, guys. So this is white amaranth.